So listen, we're gonna be working on the technique of the bend pass, or the swerve pass, okay? First of all, the balls you have at your feet, roll them behind you, because I don't want you playing with them when I'm talking. Okay? When would we use the bent pass, Sam, in a game? When you're trying to go around a defender. When you go around, give me an example, specific example. Yeah. When a winger wants to play the forward around the defenders and to curve it back onto his foot. Great. Maybe I'm a right back and the forward makes a diagonal run and you're right in the path away here. I don't need to hit it over the top. I can bend it around him and by putting a spin on that ball, when it hits the ground, it actually rolls back in towards the center of the field. Okay, there's one example. Give me an example when you also see a, a bent pass or a bench. What? Free kicks? Oh, uh, yeah. It's passing the ball into the goal, right? Yeah. Shooting it. Bent pass is the same as a bent shot. <laughs> okay, free kicks, deadly. You see some deadly free kicks. Would you ever use a bent pass on a corner kick, Caden? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Would you ever use a bent pass on a corner kick? Yeah. yeah. yeah why? In swinging corner kicks, right? Yeah. Very difficult for the goalkeeper yeah, to deal with. The goal so, listen. Playing soccer is like playing golf. This is your putter. Hey, that's your putter. You've all played mini golf, right? That's your putter. But you're not gonna be a great golf player if you've only got a putter in your bag. What right? If only, what if you only have a driver? <laughs> oh, you're not gonna be very good if you only have a driver. Oh. Listen up. Why does a golf player have more than one club in his bag? <laughs> Hold on, yeah. The different scenarios. No, a golf player carries more than one club in his bag in case he gets a hole in one. <laughs> right through the middle of the ball. What we're trying to do is make as much contact as we can with the side of the ball, about an inch into the side of the ball. The more you make contact, or the bigger surface you make contact with the ball here, the less chance it's gonna spin. So this soccer ball has panels on it for a reason. It could be all smooth if they wanted it. This could be all smooth like a, like a bowling ball if they wanted to, but it's not practical for soccer. Why does a golf player, a golf ball, have divots on it? Why do they have that little dots on it? Do you know why? There's a reason. So you Little dimples. Because of the wind, like the air. For the air, exactly. Great answer. What happens when they hit a golf ball if they chip it? Those little dimples in the golf ball actually grab onto the air and help it move, help it rotate. When you bend the ball, guys, believe it or not, the panels in here will help as you spin it, grab onto the air. And make that ball rotate. So very simple right now. All we're going to do is approach the ball at an angle. You don't want to be reaching out, so this is going to be difficult for you to have a bent pass if you're standing from here. So you want to stand alongside the ball. We don't hit in a direction that we want the ball to go. We actually hit in the opposite direction. Not in the opposite direction, but at an angle. Now watch carefully. So on my approach here, my foot, even though I want to bend the ball that way, my foot is going to skim the ball and carry through in that direction here. Okay, if you swing from the side and do that, you're not going to be able to bend the ball. Watch the ball, watch the ball spin. All we're looking for is a little spin. Stevie, you're going to do the same to me. So I'm just going to stand here, hit it. Did that ball spin? Yes. Let me see it. Just do that. Just let it look. Excellent. So when we start off in this drill, guys, we're just going to stand and we're just going to take a one step and we're just going to see if we can make the ball spin like that. Off you go. Hit the side. Perfect, well done, perfect, okay? So, bang, just like okay. that. Sammy, hold on a second. Now watch. Standing foot next to the ball here. Give me the other foot, give me the other foot. If when you strike that ball, it comes in here, it's not gonna spin. What you've gotta do is keep your foot straight and you're looking for that much contact on the outside. See that? And again, lift your foot up. So it's gonna come. Hold, hold my shoulder, son. 
You're gonna come, see the ball? Yeah. And just hit that, just skim it. Like that, skim it like that. Are we ready? Just take a step back and just skim it, but make sure that foot's going in either direction. There you go, that spin was a lot better than the last one. Here you go. Good, Stevie, well done. Good, I like it. You got it spinning yet? Keep the foot going in this direction. Don't bend the foot in, guys. Don't bend the foot in. Well done, Jake. Anybody got problems? Oh, with my left foot, yeah. Let me see it, with your right foot. Let me see it, like a spin. What did you say? What did you say? Oh, I thought it said something. So now, guys, you're gonna stand here. Can't see the guy behind the mannequin. I'm gonna try and bend the ball around and put it right between his legs. Okay, we'll get a spin in that already, so I'm gonna take a couple of steps now. See if I can make it spin. Give it up. Hey, off you go, see if you can do that, off you go. Open your legs, first one of three rounds. Yes, Simmer. All right, right behind him so you can't see it. Good job, Emma, well done. Let me see it. Not even close. Come on, you're gonna have to get an Uber to catch. Oh, he just did back to me. Okay. Yeah, you do back to him now. That one you just did there, brilliant. Okay. That's the last man in the wall. Imagine four guys sitting there, right, standing next to him. You just bent that ball right around the last man yeah. in the top corner. Good job. All right. Here. Give me foot, foot. And watch and learn, okay? You cannot put your hand on my shoulder for balance. You cannot do that. It's gonna go straight, okay? To get the spin, all I want you to do is just do that. Slice it. You just slice in the side of the ball. Understand that? But the key is, key is big fella, is when you slice it, you're not turning your foot inwards to go there. When you slice it, it's just like that. All right. Your foot keeps going straight there. Don't turn it in like that, just let it go. The harder! When you follow through on the ball, the harder you follow through and slice the side of the ball to make it spin, the more rapid that ball's gonna spin. Okay? So the, the more contact and the more power I put just on the side, it's gonna bend and fly. Let me see you, Jake. Bend it around there like you mean it, go. No, hey, no, no, too passive. I mean, really bend it. Come with some aggression on it. And bend it around, like you bend it around the wall in a free kick. Okay, that's all right. You just turn your foot in a bit there and you got too much on it, okay? That foot has got to be straight and you just clip in the side of the ball. Are we ready? Bend it around this time. Okay, hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. Come on, you're working on it. It's a work in progress. Put it right here. Off you go, guys. Go, and you bend it back. Go, I'm looking for the best player. Beautiful. Now more power, more power. Hey, before you know, you'll be pinging that ball in the top right hand corner. Hey, as you get older, you're gonna need to be equipped with these kind of skills. Okay, you get into high school, you get into college, maybe pro someday, you're gonna be able to bend the ball. You can't be just going into those teams with a putter. Okay, listen, there's 12 surfaces on the feet in which you can pass the ball, there's six on the right, six on the left. Okay, you've got the inside of the foot, got the outside of the foot, there's two, you got the toe, you got the instep, there's four, you got your laces, five, and what else? The heel. The heel, six. Six surfaces on the right, six surfaces on the left, there's 12 surfaces, you gotta be both foot feeted, you can't be just one footed. 16 different ways you can pass a ball. You got the bent pass, That's, we just, just did a bent pass. You got the push pass, you got the lofted pass, you got the total pass. Keep your eyes, watch carefully. But listen, there are so many techniques. Master a couple, be great at a couple of them. One of them, if you can bend that ball. Okay, you're gonna need that in a game. I'm looking for the best one, I'm for the best one. On your toes, let's go. Yeah, bend it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Good, love it, hey, you can go home now. It's not gonna get better than that, son. It's not gonna get better than that one. Okay, Emmer's in the lead. Emmer's in the lead with a beautiful bend pass over here. Come on, Jake, catch him up. Give me a good one. I like it, I like it. Hey, you're taking the free kicks on Saturday, son. All right. I got it. Let's go. Good, well done, Charlie. Like it. A little bit more height now, okay? Excellent. A little bit more height, though. Let me 
You see Cameron? Get closer there. Hey, Cameron, get closer. Go closer. closer. Good, and stop it there. Bring it in, guys, quickly. Five more minutes on technique, and then we move on. Gets harder.